Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Lisa. And in this video, you're going to hear and see references to the JLT oil separator. Well, we're excited to announce that as of December 2021, all JLT oil separators will now be J and L oil separators. Same great product with a different name. Thank you for your purchase. We're going to walk you through the install, the JLT oil separator for your 5.7 Durango and Jeep Cherokee. Included in the JLT kit is an oil separator. Mounting screws, mounting bracket, tools needed for installation is a 15 millimeter socket ratchet. You can also use a 15 millimeter wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, first step, we're going to need to remove this engine cover. Simply grab it and pull up. And set that off to the side. Next, we're going to need to locate our PCV hose, which is this hose here. All you need to do here is pull out the hard plastic line, which may take the rubber elbow with it. So, in normal circumstances, that would be like that. Sometimes these can be pretty stiff. We will need to remove this, which you can grab a pair of pliers and break the seal, because we will be flipping this elbow. Like so. Now, our bracket is actually going to mount to this alternator mounting bolt, which we'll need to remove. And you can see it's pretty long. So go ahead and grab your ratchet. The longer ratchet, the better. Because this bolt is tight. So go and get that on there. And work that out. And you're going to grab your bracket. Go ahead and get your bolt started through it. And then reinstall. Tighten up our bracket. Now there's a few different ways to get this oil separator in here. Um, you could actually mount the separator to the bracket first. Um, if you had a nice long 15 millimeter like ratcheting wrench, you can probably still tighten the bolt with that. Um, the way we're going to show you in this video is actually getting the hoses started to route this direction and then sliding the can into place. So go ahead and take your first hose, just try to work some of the slack into there. And same with the shorter of the two hoses. And you're going to want that short hose actually underneath the long hose. Just pull that into place. And get your can lined up. Tighten those up with your screwdriver. Now, the short hose is going to go to the forward fitting. And then the long hose. Fitting on the back. Let's reinstall our engine cover. There are four ball studs here that are going to grab the rubber grommets in the cover. This back one here, when you start, you can actually look down in the back there and see it. And you just kind of got to line them up. That feels about right. And then you just really just got to give it a good pop.
and it's on there.